What's going on everyone? Roscoe here. We are back. So today we start the process. I've mentioned in my prior videos, I am changing up the setup. I am redoing this whole entire section here in my studio, aka extra bedroom, <laughs> where I record all my videos. So that won't change just a little bit, slightly, but the painting is not going anywhere. And then in the other side of the room is where it will be doing the live call. I have a desk coming in. It's supposed to be delivered later today. However, that will be part two. Today's video is all about organizing the kicks. I had to order a ton of these shelves, AKA the drop front boxes. Just got a huge shipment out front. I'm gonna grab a bunch and we're gonna set them all up. Now I'll be telling you guys some of the pros and cons of these things. Have you guys out there clean up your setup as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. All right, so this is what I was mentioning, how I am just literally overflowing with sneakers. These are all filled up and I'm trying to get it nice kind of coordination of when they release. So have like the newer ones, like the ones I mostly wear up top and then put like maybe on the bottom, the ones I don't wear that often. Gotta have the quantums up top, man, woo! Um, and then you gotta have a fresh Boston Red Sox hat. But I'm also getting rid of this. A lot of you guys ask me about this thing. This is an Ikea lac wall shelf. To me, it's okay. I don't mind it if you have, say, you know, probably six or seven kicks and that's it. Perfect. However, I will mention this thing sucks because you can tell right off the bat, it's leaning this way. It's like a, the lean tower pizza here. Down there, it's not really like an even flat surface. So if you do have hardwood floors, then this would be fine. But for me, for a rug, it's starting to tilt. What I'm doing is I'm adding another huge row right here. And then I'm adding another huge row right here. And then this is going, all this will go. All right, so here's a little Bane update. Bane. <laughs> oh. Come here, Bane. These guys, Bane. Bane update, what up, bro? What's going on, man? This is a good boy, huh? So today's kicks, we're rocking the Travis Scotts. All right, so FedEx just dropped them off. Let's go take a look because hopefully they got my order right. Packages, it came in. I'm already telling that I'm missing something. Here they all are. These are the drop from boxes. You've probably seen every YouTuber have these on display. I think it's like the best thing out there on the market. It makes your room super organized. It keeps it clean. You know, especially with sneakers, like they could take up the whole entire room. Having the drop from boxes is definitely the way to go. <laughs> there's so many brands and there's just so many different types of drop from boxes that you can buy. This one right here, these are from the container store. So I'll make sure I'll put the links down below to everything, but the ones from the container store are very affordable. Roughly, I think they go on sale all the time. And I want to say they're like $45 for a box of six. Today I have one, two, three, three boxes, six of them in each, math, 18. So the ones that I do have, which I'll open up real quick. So this is what I'm pissed about. So these are the ones that I got are clear. They do come in multiple colors. They come in clear, black, and then they just added blue and red. To me, clear is the way to go. Black would look nice. Uh, however, you can definitely see the dust. That would just kind of make me go insane seeing all the dust. And it did mess up my order, which is unfortunate. I ordered 10 of these. Now these are the doors. You need to order a bunch. That's the one thing I will suggest is that if you do order these, order more of the doors because they break. Mine, I have broken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've broken seven of these already. Just kind of open it, latch it, the thing cracks and it's done. I gotta take this thing down and we'll start setting everything up. All right, so I took all of the drop front boxes out of the box. These came from the container store and they're very affordable. There is some other options out there that you can go a little bit more expensive because I've seen drop front boxes with the lights inside. I've seen ones where you can put the shoes vertically, which is insane. I've seen them range from like $65 for a set to these being only $45 and you get six of them. Here is what they look like nicely stacked. You can definitely tell, nice, crispy, and clean. Now, as I mentioned with the doors, these things like right here, 
chip and break. Let's get them over here. I'll put a row here, have them all nicely layered. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll put eight here. I'll put the rest here. And then I might add a couple more up there. We'll, 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 we'll have to figure that out. So I never really show you guys this side. I'm the type of person, if you give me more shelves, more space, I will just fill it up with junk. Some old Kyrie's I used to play basketball in and work out in. I haven't even worn them in like two years. I have some power phases. Well, they want to be power phases, but they're just Continental Adidas's that I took the stripe off to make them look like power phases. These are actually kind of fire. Hats. Hats, hats, and hats, man. I mean, this is all stuff that people have given me for free over the past year or so. Sunday service, Jamaica, Jesus is King, free Hoover hat, uh, Sunday service, LA, the Lost Hills, Calabasas hat, socks cap, Adidas cap, probably my most worn hat, Houston, Travis Scott, and then I have a custom Goyard beanie, and then just straight junk, like essentials shirts I haven't worn, I got a pair of Dion Sanders kicks, Vans, I got some high vans I've never worn. Some kiss slides. Yo, these are super, super comfortable. But the city socks, woo! I used to wear these every time I used to travel because it's so easy to get in and out. So let's move this out of the way and get some more stacks of drop front boxes. All right, guys, so this is my setup of what I'm going to be doing. So I decided to go a little bit higher on both ends and then I'll have the grills in the middle. But one thing I did notice, which kind of stinks, that Ikea shelf ruined the rug down there so it's completely uneven. Look at this gap. What I'll do is I'll get some double-sided tape and I'll put it like right here on this edge and just do it across. When I'm sitting in the chair, you guys will see this row. I'll start putting the shoes all in, have it nice and even, and give you guys the final look. We're done. <laughs> After about a good hour, hour and a half or so, um, it is now officially done. But what I just realized is that I need more boxes. <laughs> I should get another, probably another two more. <laughs> it's just insane making you think like, oh my god, I have this many sneakers. It's bad, man. It is bad. But honestly though, these look really, really nice. It kind of looks sharp. It makes it look more professional. It kind of gives a nice clean setup. I like it. Uh, I'm probably going to end up switching the shoes around, but I tried to coordinate it to like the releases and maybe keep it kind of in a section where you got the 350s, the 500s in one part, the 700s in one part. So that's the official setup now. Looking clean. What I did, I added another row here, 350s, going to keep the Travis Scott's together in one section need the other ones but those will stay together for now got to keep the red Sox hat nice and high we got the travis scott with the travis scott cereal with the travis scott hat and then the wave runners double sides 700s kind of keep it all in order my 380s right there the newer 350 v2s in the middle the 700 mnvns all in a row some more 350s 700 V2s, 500s, all down below, and then some miscellaneous stuff here. Some Adidas, some Nikes, some bread Jordan 4s. So this is the, what it's going to look like from now on. All right, so guys, that is part one. That is now my official setup for my shoes. Look at that. <laughs> but that is my official part one of my setup. We are waiting for my desk. It should be arriving within the next hour or so. Hopefully it comes soon. I heard it's gonna be like three huge boxes, which is gonna be insane. I'm not looking forward to that. But yeah, so it's all done, all completed, looks clean. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Like I said, I'll put all the links down below in the description. I don't have a discount code. I don't have anything like that. This isn't a sponsored video. This is just what I think looks nice. Maybe I'll have to add some stuff to it, maybe on the wall. I think it's too much, but I think it looks good. Guys, that is my video for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.